be taken seriously. Any jokes about choir, band, or orchestra are all satirical exaggerations. Now, with that being said, please enjoy. The next day. Where is everyone? Why is no one here? See, about that, I decided that the music department just wasn't worth continuing. So I shut it down. I'm going to follow my dream and move to Japan, where the people practice 40 hours a day. But you can't just do that. The music department needs you. Well, it's better than whatever we have here, to call land. I mean, band. <laughs> Man, I can't wait until I get there. I'll conduct a great band, maybe even appear on the best Japanese band's DVD. What? You, you can't just leave. There's, there's got to be some way to fix this. How can I get him to stay? What's this? Who is he phoning him sitting out like that? Let me go put it away. What's, what's going on? The year is 20XX, I mean 2016. All of the 2019 seniors are now freshmen, lost in direction and lacking any motivation. What will Kenny do to help them? What on earth was... God. Excuse me, is this Limbrook? Uh, yeah. Are you a new student or something? Huh? I spy, I spy a suspicious man who looks too old to be a student. State your name and your profession this instant! Calm your horses. I work here as a TA, and I got confused because I don't see construction when I look outside anymore. There's an actual quad. TA? Huh. Never let our teacher have a TA. Well, would you like to go on your merry way then? We're busy rehearsing. Well, that's some productivity you've got there. <laughs> yep, this is a 2016 Limbro Choir for you. Wait, 2016? What? Uh, yeah, you good man? Do you need some boba to fix you up right? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's for the cockroaches now. <laughs> I must have traveled back in time when I touched that euphonium. 
Maybe this is the chance to fix everything. Get these ungrateful kids to care about music. Well, I doubt we'd be able to help you with that. We're just a bunch of guys and gals obsessed with attempting to harmonize alongside musical soundtracks. Yeah. Making everyone care about music, we're basically asking the sopranos to sing in time. Utterly impossible. <laughs> or, it's like asking the altos not to slow down. Even more difficult. Wait, you said you guys like musical soundtracks. Ever thought of being in a musical? Not really, but thinking about it, it'd be cool, I guess. I mean, what would we do? Considering what we usually sing, we'd probably have Shrek. I'd be down. Something fun. A classic, like Beauty and the Beast. I'd be down. It does have a nice I think I'd consider auditioning if it actually happened. Would we get casted though? The teacher's pretty picky. Well, there's no harm in trying. Why not start practicing now to be ready if there ever is one? Thank God, tempo is something we always need to work on. are you two fighting about? Chairs! And this nerd should have gone concertmaster. I should have. Stop! Can you, can you listen to me real quick? You two shouldn't be fighting over chairs at all. What do you know about being a violinist? Aren't you a lame band nerd? That's like the most boring and pathetic thing there is. Viola's, at least. See, that's where the problem is. Your egos are so toxic, the trumpets better take notes. Wait, no pencils. Never mind. So, let me get this straight. Both of you are first violin, and still want concert master. That's why we're fighting over it. What do you think we are, communists? Have you guys ever tried working for a similar goal together? What kind of goal is there for an orchestra that's so dreamy? Be part of a musical. Musicals? Aren't those just super sappy singers who can get a Hollywood break? <laughs> Not at all. It's a glorious production where everyone wants to go for one thing. Make a show that everyone will remember. Well, I don't plan on performing for Hamilton or anything like that. Beauty and the Beast. Everyone loves that. With your skills, I bet you two'd be able to go from a high school play to a dramatic masterpiece. Hmm, I've always liked seeing no one sleep as Gaston in the shower. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, and I like to pose in front of the mirror pretending that I'm Gaston. <laughs> then you should start talking about it with your fellow members. A good musical isn't anywhere complete without a paid orchestra. Yeah, I'm actually starting to feel excited about this whole musical thing. Hopefully it becomes something real. Well, now that you've found your goal, I'm looking forward to sitting in the front row of your production. Mr. Kenny Makaroto is taking care of things in the past. Why don't we take a look at how our favorite Mr. Pakaluk is doing? Konnichiwa! I am your new music 
Georgia from America, and I hope to make some great music with you all. Why don't we get started with Song of Growing? <laughs> Let's leave Mr. P alone to deal with both the language barrier and rowdy students as we go back to see Kenny Makanoto in 2016. Wow, I recognize so many of these faces. They just seem so much younger. So much worse. Come on, guys. We have to start practicing more. Pop's concert is in a week, and we still haven't gotten the rhythms down yet. We have to internalize the beat. <laughs> a visitor from the district? Oh no, I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hey kids, what's going on? Wait a minute. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'm just some random visitor. Not creepy at all. Anyways, we'll just chill here until Pat becomes bad. Hold on a minute. Don't you want to try being productive? Ha! <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard today. I sit in front of the French horns. <laughs> Are you guys going to Carnegie Hall soon? Yeah, we aren't. Not anything super exciting. Well, at this rate, you're not ready for the performance. Think about all the money that your parents spent on this trip for you guys. Do you really want to let that all go to waste? And it ain't my money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you play how you sound at New York, you guys won't have any more how to stay trips. I mean, where are we going to go next? South Dakota? <laughs> I heard the next one is Spain. Are you serious? Yup, think about it. You can meet some cute Spanish guys or girls, serenade them with your band skills under a moonlit night with some non-alcoholic beverages, while you dance for makeup. Doesn't that sound nice? Wow, getting a foreign boyfriend. That sounds so romantic. Enter Justin's fantasy. Me and more come to my arms. Oh, oh, that summer flower is mine. <laughs> You know what to do. Let's flirt with him and then take all his stuff. <laughs> oh my god. I just got hit on my two hot Spanish guys. This is so gonna go on my Insta. Wait, where's my phone? Back to reality. There's no way that happened to me. Only one way to find out. We gotta go to Spain. Bet, now we legit got a reason to approve. Seems like my work here is done. Whoa, you're fading out. What's going on? I'm going back to the future, baby. Keep what I said in mind. If y'all remember what I've told you, we'll save the future of Limbrook music. Bye, sisters! <laughs>
the present. The day has been reset. We are now back to the beginning of our skit where Mr. Pakalup first introduces Kenny Makaroto to the Wind Ensemble. As you guys know, we have a new student teacher. Will you please welcome Mr. Kenny Makanoto to the podium? <laughs> so drastically improved in such a short amount of time. In honor of his best student teacher, Mr. P names his son's middle name Kenneth. The orchestra becomes one of the only groups that makes it to the Midwest Clinic and helped make one heck of a musical back in April. The Wind Ensemble has seen their skills improve. They got another trip next year anyway. The choir, well, they know how to sing now. Wait, Thanos? The music department is overpopulated. This does not put a smile upon my face. Time to revert things back to the way it was! Wait, wait, Thanos, no, stop! Perfectly balanced as all things should be. 